Welcome to this node breakdown for Mardini 2024 with Grayscale Gorilla. This is for day two, and day two's node is the Topo Build node. The Topo Build node is a sub level geometry node. So if we go ahead and create a geometry node, dive inside, we can just type Topo Build to gain access to it. Now you'll see that it has two inputs. This is what differentiates the two different versions that we can find in our shelf tools. If we go over to Polygon, we have Topo Build and Poly Draw. Topo Build requires a reference object, and that's going to be for retopology. So if we just go ahead and create a geometry node, and inside of here, we just create some sort of character. So I'm just gonna switch that from a high res to low res, just so that we have this over here with some bad topology. And then let's jump up a level. We're gonna go over to Topo Build, click on the object that we want to project. You'll see us says select projection geometry, press enter, and we won't have a topology to extend. So I'll press enter again, and it'll do this over here. It'll bring in our geometry, so what this will do is if you have your Topo Build node selected with your transform handles, you'll be able to start building geometry. So you click to add a point, click another to add an edge, and then you can connect them up. So just like this, you can build geometry and you can retopologize. Right, so there isn't only the build mode. What we can do is if we press enter, that will accept our changes. We can click and drag and move points around. Having the second input ensures that we are projecting onto the geometry. This also gives us access to things like smoothing and brushing. So if we switch to the brush tool, then we can click and drag and brush areas around. Now we can also extend edges. You can click on an edge over here, and this will allow you to extend an entire edge. While you're placing edges like this, you can hold G to allow you to click and drag and rotate so that you can go around edges just like this. Once you're happy, press escape and enter, and you can keep adding topology wherever you'd like. Some useful nodes to use with this are the clip node. So if we go ahead and use a clip and then just clip along the axis that we are looking to mirror. So in this case, the X axis, then what we can do is then use a mirror node. So a clip and a mirror, if this is too low resolution for you, what you can do is you can go ahead and use a subdivide. If we subdivide this mesh over here, you will see that we lose some shape. You can see that it falls under the surface of the geometry. So another trick that we can do is use the topo build again, plugging our geometry into the first input so that we can affect it, and then plugging our projection into the second input over here, going over to the smooth mode and just saying smooth all. That will make sure that this now conforms to the surface of the geometry. Another interesting thing that we can do with a topo build is using the skinning mode. So if we just use a template over here, go over to the skin mode, click and drag in a direction to make a cross section, make another one, and then by holding control and clicking and dragging, it will skin across that cross section. Now, of course, you may want to increase the number of spans and that will give you a higher resolution for that cross section. To clear them, just press enter, and then you can do it again. Again, doing our little trick of subdividing and reprojecting. As for the poly draw up here, this is just going to allow us to draw in geometry. So we can just draw into our viewport however we'd like. So you can just click and add points. An interesting way to work with this is to then go ahead and select a point, press escape, shift A, and then middle mouse click to select an edge loop. That'll select all points around the edge loop. And then if we press shift and C, it will attempt to turn it into a circle. So we can build interesting topology like this. We also have the option to split. If we hold shift and click, we can add edge loops. Using the brush node, we can brush points together. And once again, click on a point, escape, shift A, middle mouse to select the edge, and then shift C to turn it into a circle. Another interesting option is that we can actually correct some issues in a mesh if we want to. So let's just go ahead. If we just blast away some faces on a mesh, we can use a topo build node to rebuild it in an interesting way. Another artistic thing that you can do is if you just want to build your own custom abstract geometry. And so by doing a few simple operations on top of just a very abstract topo build, you can end up with something that looks 
pretty interesting. So if you had to go ahead and render this, you could end up with a interesting result. And so even though the topo bold node may not seem like the most creative node, there is a lot that you can actually do with it if you just play around with it and experiment with the results that you can get. So I hope this helped you understand the topo bold node a little bit better, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow with the scatter and align node.